welcome to the Shaquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I am here to not only educate you on all things wigs and toppers, but to make the experience fun. So make sure you hang out with me if you want to have a good time. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a brand new piece from Gabor's luxury designer series called Glamorize Always. I'm wearing it right now and when I love a wig, I just get so excited by it. And this is a wig that I am really loving right now. Now, let me just dive right in here. So Gabor, I find really stepped up their game with their new series of wigs here, and they've done a few things. So the first thing they've done to all of their new wigs is they have given them the true to life heat friendly fibers that we know and love on the Raquel Welch wigs. So this means that we're also going to see the colors that we love on the Raquel Welch true to life heat friendly fibers on these Gabor wigs, which is really exciting. So with these heat friendly fibers, not only are you able to use heating tools up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but the luster of these fibers are going to be so much more lifelike. They're going to be a lot less shiny than your standard synthetic fiber, which to me is everything. So what we have here is a structured yet sophisticated bob that can get lots of volume in the crown and has some face framing layers that are longer in the front. If I turn to the side, you're going to see that it's an A-line bob and it's a stacked bob. So it has all of these layers in the back that give it that lift. So I know when you guys see all of these voluminous looks, you guys think, oh my gosh, there's so much permatease in that thing. I can't get it. Well, there's not, honestly not a ton of permatease in here. Also, don't be afraid of the permatease. The permatease is there usually to add structure and style and volume to a piece, not to make you look like you're wearing a helmet. So there is permatease on here, but it's not a lot. You're gonna find some at the crown area. And I find after about this point, can you see me? After about this point here, the rest of the way down, there's no permatease. So there's permatease at the crown and there's gonna be a little bit of permatease along the wefting at the sides of your hand tied top here. So right about here, the rest of the way down, you're not gonna find any. So just around the outside perimeter of your hand tied top. Now, in terms of the density of this piece, I find it's a pretty light to medium density. Wearing this feels very lightweight and comfortable. And the volume that you see here, of course, comes from the bit of permatease that's around the perimeter of your hand tied top. But it also has to do with the layering here and just the sheer style of this. So you are able to get a lot of volume with this piece. However, oh, I look crazy. <laughs> However, you can also calm it down quite a bit to get more of a sleek style. So it's really versatile and you can have different looks going on here. I prefer it having a little bit more volume. I feel like it really brings out the nice shape and the layers to this piece as opposed to having the sleek kind of push down style. Okay, let's talk about the length of this. So your front pieces here are going to be about seven inches long and so are your pieces from your crown. So these are also about seven inches. On the sides here, you're going to run about seven and a half inches and from the back, it's going to be six and a half inches. And then from the nape, right about here, those pieces are three and a quarter inches long. You're also going to find that this is a very tapered look. So it has nice layers that goes tapered at your nape. One of my favorite things about this piece is the extended temple to temple lace front that we have here. It's really quite beautiful. They have made this so it's pretty much just like the Raquel Welch lace fronts that everybody loves. So it's going to go all the way extended to kind of middle of the ear tabs here and of course to the other side. So this gives you a lot of styling options and the ability to style it off your face without feeling like something is gonna show. On the top of this piece, you're gonna find a full hand-tied top. So that is similar to a monofilament top in a sense that you're able to part this wherever you want within that hand-tied portion. And it's also gonna give you that illusion that it's growing right from your scalp. However, one thing to know is that I find 
With these hand tie tops, in comparison to a monofilament top, you might be able to see the knotting a little bit more easily. Let me get more, a better part here. That was a, not a great job. So you can see the knotting in here. So the knotting is going to be a little bit more visible on this hand tie top as opposed to a monofilament top. And you're also going to find that you're going to notice the difference between the lace front the knotting on the lace front and then the knotting into your hand tied top. It's a little bit different. So if you are someone who is concerned about the size of the knotting, that might be something to consider. Let me go ahead and take this off so we can take a peek at what all of that looks like on the inside of your cap. So I was just talking about that extended lace front. So here's that ear tab and it goes about to the midway point of your ear tab all the way to the other side and it makes a really gradual transition from your lace front into the ear tabs which is really nice you also are going to see your hand tie top here so it's going to be two layers of a lace-like material here uh, this bottom layer is um, there's nothing tied into it but the top layer has all of the fibers tied into it other than that this wig also has an open wefted cap so open wefting is really great for ventilation. So if you live somewhere warm, um, uh, open wefted caps are a little bit more reasonable to deal with than a um, hand tied cap. Um, also you'll find with open wefted caps, they are stretchier than hand tied caps. So it allows for um, just better sizing options to fit your head a little bit better. We also have velvet ear tabs, which make it nice and cozy and a velvet nape. Just note that it's not an extended nape. And then of course we have your adjustable Velcro straps so that you can adjust your circumference. I'm wearing Glamour as always in RL12 slash 22 SS. So that is your color shaded cappuccino. This is one of my favorite sort of in-between brown and blonde colors. You're gonna see that it is a light brown base with some cool ashy highlights that are sprinkled all over the place. So you look at it and you want to think it's a brown, but then you're like, hold on, it kind of looks more blonde. It's a little bit iffy. Uh, and then of course you have a medium to dark brown root here that almost gives the effect of grown out highlights a little bit. It's all really nicely blended and makes this really beautiful ashy in between brown and blonde color. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel for even more reviews and tips and tricks on all things alternative hair. And if you're looking to purchase this wig or any others, you can find it on our website at chiquelle.com if you are in the United States, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.